Jews on the road of Torah. I engrave them on your heart. Relief from your chain of flesh. Because my Holy Ghost can dwell in you. Don't be afraid. Don't be too sad. Then we, in one day your cross depressing you. But in the spirit you are delight. Majesty is your fullness. 46 years they were building up. Pharisees don't stone temple. The Jesus demolish. And in three days build it up. But not of brick. The holy body temple. They say grace. I said glory. You said Torah. I in fleshy heart. Relief from your sin, grafted into Israel. Jesus Messiah, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Believe the gospel. Repent your sin in Jesus Christ's name for the forgiveness of your sin. That message been sent it from 5,000 years ago, guys. And I'm not preaching the churches, the, you know, the religion tradition. This is all philosophy of this world, but knows that the ending time of coming and that Jesus Christ appear on the sky from east to west and then all new will bow in front of him, all tongues will confess his holy name and then will be great resurrection, the sheep who was listening the word of God, who believed the gospel will be rise for their salvation. But the ghosts who reject the message, who reject the message about the cross, who didn't believe in Jesus, they will be cast to sea of fire the second death. That was a prophesied. And that was been given to us as a signpost. Signpost for know him, the Jesus Messiah, King of Kings. If you hear that message, today it might be your day of your salvation. Don't believe me. It doesn't matter how many times you go to the church and how much money you give in the church. The church cannot give you salvation. The religion cannot give you salvation. You need to have a faith in Jesus, what he did on the cross. You have to have a faith in Jesus, what he did on the cross for us. And he suffered on the cross for our sin. And he died on the cross for our sin. And he rose on the third day in flesh and he went to heaven in flesh. If you believe that in your heart and you repent your sin, your sin will be forgiven and there is a promise of Holy Spirit which will be dwelling in you. And actually God will turn you off your sinful ways, guys. The God who is calling you for the covenant in the holy blood of Messiah. The same covenant which been given to prophets, guys. They heard the voice of God and they prophesied that the light will come on the Gentiles. That the right arm of Father will save the nation. It was a prophecy about the Jesus. The light will come on Gentiles and the light actually came to the world, but man of darkness, his deed was evil. The light came to the world, but man of darkness, his deed was evil. And since 2000 years ago, there is the judgment day till now. We can reject the, that gospel. We will reject Jesus. But if you will believe the gospel and you repent your sin in Jesus Christ's name, your sin will be forgiven and there is a promise of the Holy Spirit. That's what the Jesus Christ said himself 2,000 years ago. You have to be newborn of the Spirit, God and water. Because otherwise you cannot get to kingdom of heaven. And only by repentance, only by repentance and believing what he did on the cross, when you cry out from your heart all your sin, you will be forgiven. And there will be Holy Spirit promise dwelling in you. The first
first Corinthian letter, we are the temple of God, God lives in us. So the religion cannot give you salvation, the churches, pastors, priests cannot give you salvation. This is according to word of God. The word of God is living and active, is a sharper and the two-edged sword, is a piercing to the division of the soul and spirit. Marrow and bone is able to know the intention of your heart and mind. That's why we cannot hide anything. The God knows before you even think. And why did Jesus Christ been sent it to? Why do we all need the grace of God? Because we are the sinners and on the judgment day we will be guilty. That's why there is a big gap between yourself, ourselves actually, between us. And there is a consequences of sin and the God is giving you free wills. He won't push you, but you can hear that gospel today. And that Jesus Christ himself says, I didn't come to punish the world, but I came to bring salvation. But the word which I preached will be judged you on the last day. And this time as well, you can hear the gospel and you can get that gospel to your heart and pray to God, reveal me your only begotten son, Jesus, and you can reject that message and then the God will reject you. And I pray in Jesus Christ's name that the God will open your heart for that message today, that you will open that word of God and you read it without any religion or tradition. Without any religion and tradition, guys. Because the religion and tradition cannot give you salvation according to that oldest book, which is the Word of God. And I repeat, 25,000 of archaeological things been founded around the world, which prove the Word of God is a real book. Open your heart for the living God, Jesus. Repent your sin, Dublin. The God command you to repent. Open your heart for the message. There's so much love for the Father for this world. He sent His only begotten Son who died on the cross for all of us sinners. Whoever believes in Him will not perish but will have an everlasting life. Keep that message in your heart. Open the Word of God. God, leave, reveal me your only begotten Son, Jesus. Reveal me your only begotten Son, Jesus. And you know, the King of Solomon, he was the wisest man because he asked God for the wisdom. And you know, we can read it in the Proverbs book, the passages which I will pass on. Love the Father with all your heart, mind and soul and don't lean on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him and He will lead your path. So that's why don't trust the philosophy of this world. Don't trust the religion, tradition. Open the Word of God and read it through. Don't believe me. May God bless you in Jesus' name.